back to Miss Cindy's kitchen. And as I mentioned in previous episodes, we're going to start going through and sharing some Disney recipes with you all. And for some reason I got oil on the cookbook. But anyway, tonight we're going to be making Ronto wraps, or at least our version of Ronto wraps. And it basically is a sausage and a slice of pork loin and some slaw in a pita. So we're going to be using our coleslaw that we made last night. I've got the pitas warming in the oven and I've already got the stove heating up. So we're going to be making some thin sliced pork loin chops in the skillet. This is actually a grill pan because they do have grill marks in the picture. So this is a good way to get grill marks on your food without having to have a barbecuer or other form of grill. So let me get those going. Are you saying you can grill your meat without actually grilling your meat? Yep. So, all right. We've tried having barbecuers and for some reason it just doesn't suit us because it never works out. So we need grill on our grill pan. And the other part of the recipe is to cook smoked sausage. So we're going to put those in the cast iron to heat up. So you all are going to have the wonderful sounds of sizzling meat. So I'm just going to cook eight of these sausages. So I only have eight chops, so I can make eight of the Ronto wraps. So the original recipe calls for a peppercorn sauce, which is based with a grated English cucumber, salt, two cups of low-fat plain Greek yogurt, lemon juice, garlic, dill weed, and mint, with, and black peppercorns. So this is basically a Mediterranean style dish. But we're making the shortcut version with slaw that we already have prepared, smoked sausages, and some pork loin. Because tomorrow I'm gonna make the pork loin into Carolina pulled pork which we've had on a previous episode. And then to go as a side dish for our Ronto wraps, I'm making Parmesan potatoes, which is also from a previous episode. So, uh, put a link in the description so you can click on and look up the previous episodes. So see, we're getting some grill marks. And I just seasoned them with seasoned salt. And then I've got the pitas heating up in the oven. I wrapped them in foil, put them in the oven, because I already had the oven going with the Parmesan potatoes. So they will warm up because our microwave is on strike. It has been since December. Eventually we will uh, replace it, but you learn to function without stuff. It's like all households have a certain level of dysfunction that you work around and work with. So. This is our level of dysfunction, so. Anyway, make sure you like and subscribe and share to your friends and give us your feedback. And we will be bringing in more episodes based on Disney foods that we either tried at the parks or saw in our Disney cookbooks, which we now have about six of them that we wanna share with you all. So, but this is our version of the Ronto wraps. And by the way, they were delicious. They were delicious. So I'm going to flip these guys over. Is this like this? You've got pork and you've got a ton of sausage. So would this be something you would like have as an alternative for a barbecue or something? Good. You can do anything you want with a meal. So I'm going to roll the sausages around so they get some saute marks on them. The cast iron is giving them a nice blister on the skin. And these are fully cooked sausages, so they should heat meat kind of like a hot dog. So, I don't know if you want to zoom in on this, Logan, so they can see what the original recipe looks like. Mm -hmm. And then that. So, that's the inspiration, and the original was delicious. However, we don't want to make it too spicy because we have sensitive stomachs in our house. So we're just going to do a basic coleslaw and call it good. Because 
pork and coleslaw goes well together, like when we make pulled pork. So those are pretty much done. So just let those get a little bit more grilled. So we'll pause here and let the meat finish cooking. Then we'll bring you back to show you how we assemble the Ronto wraps as well as doing a taste test. So we'll be back with you in a few. <laughs> All right, we're gonna assemble our version of the Ronto wraps. And Logan suggested using our um, avocado dip as a seasoning on them. I think that sounds great. So I'm gonna put that on, give it a little bit of flavor and spice because we don't have the peppercorn sauce. So I'm gonna make five of them to set plates because we have five people in our family, two of which will be doing the uh, taste test momentarily. And then Dolly is on the floor waiting for scraps. All right. She leads a hard life. She only gets scraps off the floor in addition to her dog food. All right. <laughs> Which she thinks is, you know, she prefers our food. Whoops. Last night I made a roast chicken in the crock pot and I gave the dogs leftover rice and chicken broth for their dinner. They thought that was fabulous. Of course, I had to keep Dahlia from stealing Pepper's food because Dahlia is a little bit greedy. All right. So this is going to be a delicious dinner. Our Parmesan potatoes are finishing cooking. All right. And we have a couple of eager taste testers. So we're going to put a pork loin chop and a sausage. So there's Tyler's. Having trouble? He's <laughs> having a hard time pulling it over. There it is. You might want to try grabbing it from the top, Tyler. Hold on. You, yeah. <laughs> um, from? There we now go. he's got it. Oh my gosh. He's getting on his shirt. There we go. What do you think? Good. Good? Good. <laughs> All right. It's great. <laughs> so. <laughs> My suggestion would be to grab it like this. So grab it like you a taco. Have, you're making a cradle for the sausage. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Yeah. With the uh, with the avocado sauce, it's really good. Yeah. So my pizza kind of broke a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, they've, they're perforated, you know. I don't know why they do them that way. But anyway, in the future, I might try grilling them on the stove to make them more solid. But anyway, this is our version of the Ronto Wraps. So look for the recipe for the Carolina pulled pork. <clears throat> and also for our Parmesan potatoes. We will link those so you can click right on the video and watch and see how we made them. Because they're family favorites and you're going to love them too. So make sure you like and subscribe and share to your friends and join us again soon. Thank you for watching Miss Cindy's Kitchen. To get more recipes like this one, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Share it out to your friends, family, neighbors, and leave us a comment to let us know how this recipe worked for you. And don't forget to hit that like button. Again, thank you for watching Miss Cindy's Kitchen.